Hello everybody, I'm back uh, to talk about today. We will talk about a few things. Uh, one trend that's worrying me is the stupidification rate amongst people in Canada. But, you know, it's only because I met a woman recently and then, you know, she's very weird or stupid. So, the point is, everybody, uh, we, we cannot go on against capitalism unless we have an alternative. And I know not many people think enough to have an alternative and stuff. Uh, but the thing is like this. When there's communists who have pretty high record, you know, fucking numbers of people, you know, joining their shit, uh, we cannot, like, leave it unaddressed because the communists, let's not forget, the Frankfurt School of Thought was brought to America uh, in Canada uh, with the immigrants who were, you know, uh, from somewhere. Uh, they were all from all sorts of places, but primarily Austria, Germany, and we know why they left. But, you know, okay, so the communist groups which exist right now are authoritarian ones, which wreck the purpose of ever doing anything against capitalism. Because if we're going to have an authoritarian revolution, we're going to have a whole ton of blood spilled which is acceptable if it's rich people's only. And then uh, we'll have them going after everybody with a brain in their head, just like they did in Soviet uh, Russia. And just like they did everywhere that they had a stupid authoritarian revolution. You cannot uh, preserve authority while bringing forth ideas you proclaim to be revolutionary. Uh, that is a very stupid idea. Read Mikhail Bakunin and uh, stuff like that and uh, let me shout out to Miss Katz who watch my videos because she's a good woman and I haven't met many good women lately good women who's li like nice you know but uh, but uh, you know I wouldn't mind meeting Mrs. Katz and also let's talk about one more thing the complicity of the media in um, you know, just destroying people's belief systems and anything that, that may be good, they can destroy by labeling it far right and such things. Uh, they also instigated the riots that are happening in Britain right now by falsely claiming that a Muslim did something which a Muslim would not do, but which they would love so much for a Muslim to have done, as opposed to their white people who are white. Uh, so let's not have racist idiots, for one, because fear causes racist idiots to be racist. Uh, otherwise, they would have realized, hey, why don't I check if people are actually the way I believe that they are? And, uh, like, there's different flavors of them, like some chocolate and strawberry ice cream and shit. No, we're all the same pretty much, except some people are profoundly stupid and others are not. So let's not also have this thing where we say diversity and equity is the best, isn't it? Uh, yeah, if you start defining who you want to hire by what, what you want them to look like, whether they're qualified or not makes, you know, not too much of a difference. And then you have what happened to Donald Trump almost becoming a martyr of stupidness, you know, the martyr of stupidity uh, because they coaxed a young guy to get his face shot in uh, because violence is not good but when it is good is when the state accepts it and says we are the ones doing it we are the democratic people and we are doing democratic things uh, they cannot democratize Canada they don't have enough napalm per square meter like, it would take a lot more napalm than they think to root out the independent, free-thinking individuals who will think and do things in spite of the idiots who know nothing or know nothing of the benefits of cooperation and mutual association. So thanks for listening to people who listen. And uh, 
don't conflate things which uh, you cannot conflate without making a great mistake. That's one thing I think. As well, yeah, the media really holds a lot of blame. And until they are forced to be held accountable, they will not be accountable. They will not apologize. They'll change their tune and cover the next big uh, bloodbath somewhere in the world. And hope that you people are stupid enough to continue consuming the pre-digested pack of food they pre prepared. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they got it so you don't have to chew nothing that is too tough. It's all pre-digested. They got it good. They made it for you. They determined the truth and then lay it out for you. The con companies run the country during the day and at night they write the news. Uh, political twats don't matter. Especially yeah, in Canada, don't vote and don't be going around saying, oh, this Pierre Polivinier, whatever that scumbag guy is, is better than uh, Trudeau. They're both stupid idiots. You think having one guy who looks like, um, you know, a German uh, is going to really fix it at this point? Or has our country been degenerating for so long because of symptomatic, uh, systematic, like, uh, defects that come with uh, such sodomite ways? I don't know. Thanks for listening, everybody, and I'll let you people have a good day. Peace.